Hey, hi everyone, this is Gail Bottomley here, your marketing mentor, and I teach people how to brand themselves. So that's why I've called my company uh, Branding Yourself to be Brand You, because it's important to brand yourself. If you want to just brand your product, if something happens to that product and and it disappears, what have you got left? Whereas if you brand yourself and you promote a product or a service and that disappears, well, yeah, although it's kind of annoying or whatever, you've still got your brand you and that's what you're promoting. So if people have purchased off to you, then um, they know, like, and trust you. And so um, that's where it begins. So it's all about brand you, branding yourself. Today, I want to cover a question that you've all been asked and some have come to me and said, what do I say? How do I say it? I don't know what to say. So let's get into it right now. So the question is, what do you do? It's a question that can be asked several times during the week for many people, and um, they don't always know what to say. Now, and so here's the question, what do you do? If you work a nine to five job and someone says to you, what do you do? You just say, well, this is what I do. I'm a teacher, I'm a a truck driver, I'm a bus driver, I sweep the streets, I pick the garbage up, or I'm a teacher, I'm a nurse, whatever it is, you know, I work at the supermarket. And that's what you do. And so, but many people have a, what we call a side hustle, or they work from home. They have a network marketing business. They have an MLM business, or they have an affiliate marketing business, whatever it is. And they want to really talk about that more than they want to talk about whatever their nine to five job is. And so what happens is when people say, what do you do? And you think, oh, I really want to tell them about my other business that I'm doing at home. How do I say it? Because many of you have gone forth and you've blurted out all the things that you do and you sell and then everyone's going, well, actually, I wish I hadn't asked that question. <laughs> so what do you do? What do you say so that, and this is what people think in their heads, so what do I say so that I can get them into my business so that they see the vision and they get the picture? But you'll notice there's a little word in there. What do I say so that I can get, I can get them into my business? And that's the problem today. I believe when um, people want to talk about their side hustle, they're so concerned about their checks and, and getting the checks in the mail or money put in your bank account, however way your money comes. And they want to get to the next rank and they want to get more products sold. And it's all about get, 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 get. And it's all about me, 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 me. And today I want to talk about changing that. I want a different approach from network marketers and MLMers because I've been on the receiving end. In fact, this morning on the receiving end of someone just messaging me in Facebook and just ba- just just giving it to me <laughs> about how I could join their company and earn all this money and yada, yada, yada. And, you know, they need three people and could I be one of their three people? And, and it was all about getting, getting, getting. It wasn't about anything else than that. But I want to change that approach for so many people, and you included, so that you look at not who can I get, but who can I help. And I believe that if you change it from what can I get to who can I help, it'll make your um, business a whole lot more effective out there. So who can I help? What is the purpose of business? Well, the purpose of business is to solve a problem. So let's look at this. We wanted to go and buy another bed because our bed's getting, you know, a bit old. So we need another bed. And so we go to the bed shop and the bed shop has lots and lots and lots of beds. So many beds, so many choices. It's really hard to focus on getting a bed because there's so many choices. But the salesperson says, well, what kind of bed do you like? Do you sleep well? Do you, do, does one wriggle more than the other? Does one sleep, um, snore? What, whatever it is. So they ask all the problems because the salesperson wants to solve the problem that we have. So the purpose of a business is to solve a problem. The purpose of your business and whatever it is that you promote is to solve a problem. It's to help somebody. What can I help somebody do today? What can I help somebody achieve today? What can I help somebody um, just feel better about their existence today? 
So the real purpose and why we're here is always to solve a problem. Now, if the business, if the purpose of a business was to not solve a problem, then why is there so many beds? Why don't we just have one single, one double, one king and one um, queen? Why, why don't we just do that? But there isn't that. There's a, there's a single, there's a small single, a kid's single, there's a, there's a king single, there's an ordinary single, but a long single. And the same with a double. There's a double, and then there's a long double, and then there's a shorter double. And it just goes on. It's overwhelming. Have you ever been bed shopping? <laughs> it's just overwhelming. But the reason is because it's to solve a problem. Everybody's different. Someone hard, someone soft, someone long, someone short. So there is all these different problems and they've got to be solved. And so that's the purpose of the business and the purpose of your business. And if you can see it as that, that'll change everything from having to get, get, get and more to help, help, help. So... What can I help somebody do? What can I help somebody achieve? Those are the words and the questions you should be asking. So here's a little one or two liners that I want you to think about today and how you could use these. There's many others, but how could you use these to um, uh, talk to people about what you do? So here's a one liner here for obviously someone who's selling skin products. Well, I help people who have had trouble with their skin, red blotchy skin like I used to have. Isn't that cool? Isn't that much better to say something short and to the point like that rather than, well, I have this product and it, everyone should have it and it cures the world of, you know, you know what I mean. And uh, so this is a ex slightly extended version of that. What do you do? Well, I help people get rid of their red blotchy skin like what I used to have. People who don't want to do surgery or don't want to use toxic products, that's what I do. And what do you do? The other day, I was at a cafe and I was um, just listening to something on my phone and a lady was sitting there with her laptop and we probably both looked at each other at the same time thought, I wonder what she does. <laughs> and then when I was packing up, she looked at me and she said, what do you do? And I said, I'm a marketing mentor and I work with mostly people in the baby boomer group who are trying to sell products online and offline. And I teach them how to market themselves as brand you rather than just market product. Well, she said, and she wanted to talk to me about that for the next 10 minutes. And then I said to her after all that, well, what do you do? And so she told me what she did. So it was quite easy and it just came off, uh, off my, rolled off my tongue a lot easier than it did just now as I was telling you what I do. <laughs> but in the, in, in the process, it was very simple. So basically, I use this little one-liner, two-liner that are here and I changed it to suit me. And you can do the same. So next time someone says to you, what do you do? You can tell them. It'll just roll off your tongue really, really simply. And then what happens? You end up with a whole network of people around you and that know you. Uh, you they know you for the reasons that you're inter interested in, which is namely how you can help them and maybe someday solve their problem. And maybe someday they will buy off you. And so if you keep it simple on your social media as well and really point it at the people that you want, find your niche. I help these people with this problem so that they can get relief in this area or whatever it is. Follow that one liner, two liner and make sure you use that like I used to have or like I used to be. If you can try and use that in there as well. So the idea is to get a tribe around you who may not buy from you right away and you may not get them into your, into your team straight off, but you can help them. You can give them advice, you can give them some help and find some interesting articles on the internet that will help them. But whatever, they will see you for who you are and they will trust you and they will like you and one day they'll buy off you. And so just think about that. What do you do? Tell me, what do you do? Write in the comments below, what do you do? So this is Gail Bottomley here, your marketing mentor signing off and we'll catch you on the next video. Have an awesomely awesome day.